Did you guys watch the movie with everyone the other night? Though? Yes. Okay, and so what was that like, getting the energy of the audience? The energy of the audience, we were the audience as well. Yeah. We had never seen everything complete, so we were gasping, laughing, clapping. I was weeping. Yes. Oh, that makes me feel so much better, because I was weeping from the moment uh, the baby Simba is held up and oh. like 10 seconds into the movie. Or yeah, something. right. Done. Yeah, but nope. if, if you weren't weeping, we wouldn't have done our job. Right. Mm. It's true. And, I mean, you're so mean. You're yeah, terrifying. Yeah, he's mean, yeah. He's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, was it fun getting into the character of a, the baddest lion? Yeah, there is? it was, in its own way, it was fun. You know, he's, he's, his psychology, he's an interesting character to play. I mean, obviously, it is fun in the sense that it's so iconic and so known, you know. Um, but then just sort of rediscovering that and just kind of diving in and seeing where I... You know, I think that that obsession with kind of power and status is always so interesting to play because we all have elements of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all have elements of it. Um, and so, you know, most of us obviously are able to kind of <laughs> keep it a little bit under control. But um, but obviously he's so kind of damaged in that way. And um, and he can't control that. And it does affect him and it does affect his life and his his sense of self in this kind of completely over the top and expanded way. And so mm. sort of diving into that and trying to wrestle with that kind of psychology is um, is really interesting. And it's a, a wonderful part. And, uh, you know, obviously done so incredibly well before by Jeremy Irons. But then, you know, retelling it and putting your own spin on it as well is um, is extraordinary to, to do. And uh, I was really thrilled to be yeah, a part of it. you were perfectly evil. You really were. <laughs> that voice. Didn't think it was an evil voice until then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Alfre, what I love too about your role, I mean, the pride, the women, it's like the women are the ones who take control and take the power back. And you said something really amazing to me at the premiere about what you learned about, you know, the lionesses. Right. It, in, in the wild, uh, in reality, it's the lionesses that that keep the pride together. The king, and I've been around lions in the wild, you hear him you, and you, you kind of shudder because the sound is so big, but he's out at the perimeter like having a wee to keep the other saying, oh, I'll, I'll come near my lionesses. But meanwhile, the lionesses are the ones who are there together in the pride. They They hunt they they feed they nurture they 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 maintain the order mm -hmm. and uh there is a there is a power in stillness that i noticed when i would see the lions the, it, it's a stillness that is so relaxed but alert at the same time that that's where they can come out of when they need to and they will mm -hmm. quickly do that especially if any of the the cubs seem to be at risk so powerful. It's so incredible. Um, getting to ex share the experience of that night with Beyonce, I know that she was, you didn't, might not have been able to work with her, but did you Yes, they didn't let me sing with Beyonce. <laughs> she tried to get them to let me in, but they wouldn't. <laughs> That's really disappointing. Maybe next time. <laughs> what was it like getting to, you know, obviously share the experience all together the other night, be all together and, and watch it? All the hard work. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was like, a, yeah. yeah, like we all get to go to heavenly camp together. That's so true. So, um, and it was so great to be with her uh, the other night. She was with Blue Ivy, and you know, you know, people. An icon is in the eye of a beholder, mm -hmm. but the person that is the artist is more grounded than a, a normal person who does not tap into their creative instinct. So I, um, I, I love her, uh, I love the image of her and, and her discipline that makes her create those things that people are so drawn to. But I, I love the girl in her that is so grounded and lovely and now a mom. So she's, it was great to be with her and hug her after that. So special. Yeah. And you guys have got the big royal premiere this weekend. You must be pretty excited about that. It's a big deal. It's it's fabulous. Oh, yeah. 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 he's, he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's... You're like, just um, another day for you. He's yeah, exactly. in the I mean, house I'm of Windsor London, many times. Yeah, I mean, I was, yeah, it's, just, it's around the corner from me, actually. <laughs> I'm popping down there all the time. The, um, I mean, it's a big deal, though. It'll be, it'll be very, very exciting, yeah. It's yeah. going to be, uh, uh, you know, a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love it. Well, I can't wait for them to see it as well. I can't wait for the world to see it. Every the whole movie, I was like, I can't wait to take this kid and this niece and this person. You know how they do the everybody around the world on New Year's. I I want to see audiences oh, coming out of shots, cinemas. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, see them coming out in you know different continents. The what they are saying and you might have looks to do a world faces. tour incognito, sneak into all the different cinemas. And no, I want to do a world tour. As, as yeah. you know, in costume. As, yeah. <laughs> Robbie. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.